We can all agree that artificial intelligence is disruptive, even though no one knows exactly how it will affect the workplace. Many have thus far portrayed this disruption negatively and imagined a time when robots would replace human beings in the workforce. That is one perspective on things. Another is that rather than replacing jobs, automation might generate more of them. It might also lead to the emergence of previously unimaginable new business sectors by providing entrepreneurs with new tools. This opinion is supported by a recent study conducted by Sapio Research and Redwood Software. According to survey respondents from 2017, 60% of enterprises could be automated within the next five years. However, according to Gartner, AI will create more jobs than it replaces by 2020. The creator and CEO of X.AI, Dennis Mortensen, concurred. Two-thirds of the employment at our company didn't exist a few years ago. According to Mortensen, AI will not only generate new jobs, but also significantly improve human performance in existing ones. Paul Diarty, Chief Technology and Innovation Officer at Accenture, summed up this concept at the World Economic Forum in Davos by saying, human plus machine equals superpowers. The optimistic viewpoint is probably more reasonable for a variety of reasons, but it's far from certain that AI will revolutionize the workplace. 2018 finds that workers are not receiving enough preparation for their futures. AI is based on faulty algorithms and data that do not accurately represent the heterogeneous society it is intended to support. And before I forget, if this is your first time seeing the video and you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Additionally, feel free to ask any questions you may have about this subject in the comments section. We'll be happy to respond. How AI could increase employment, creating new jobs, developing current ones. While certain jobs will undoubtedly be replaced by AI, this has already happened before AI was developed. Titles including travel agent, switchboard operator, milkman, lift operator, and bowling alley pin setter have all declined or disappeared in the last century. In the interim, new professions have evolved, such as data scientist, social media director, and app developer. In the book Human Plus Machine, Reimagining Work in the Age of AI, Diarty and Jim Wilson, Managing Director of Information Technology and Business Research at Accenture Research, collaborated. According to them, explainers and trainers will be needed in the present and the future. AI systems will be trained to replicate and perform human behaviors by trainers. Explainers will communicate with both human supervisors and robots. Trainers. Recently, chatbots have become a new way for customers and marketers to communicate. It's no secret, however, that they have frequently responded inappropriately and stiffly. For example, we could state, it's raining again, fantastic, and people would understand the irony. A machine wouldn't do that. Specializing in language understanding is one aspect of developing chatbots. Empathy is an additional. Emotional intelligence is being included into chatbot-based communication by a new generation of entrepreneurs. Replica co-founder Eugenie Akaida stated that human trainers are necessary for sympathetic chatbots such as hers. I believe that understanding human behavior and psychology will be among the most fascinating fields of study in the future, the speaker stated. You need to create chatbots that inspire people to pursue their objectives and make them happy. It won't happen without a certain level of empathy. Additionally, human moderators are used by Google and Facebook to oversee material. Currently, Facebook has 7,500 workers working for it. Recently, Alphabet, the parent company of Google, announced that 10,000 employees will be responsible for YouTube content moderation. Explainers. Trainers bring a human element to AI systems, but explainers will bridge the gap between the new systems and their human managers. C-suite executives, for instance, will be uneasy about basing decisions on black box algorithms. They will need explanations in plain English, delivered by a human, to ease their concerns. Legislation is another impetus. The European Union's General Data Protection Regulation, which goes into effect this year, includes the right to explanation. That means consumers can question and fight any decision made on an algorithmic base that affects them such explainers will perform 
autopsies, when the machines make mistakes. They will also diagnose the error and help to take steps to avoid similar mistakes in the future. Empowering workers, businesses, and industries, AI has the potential to improve productivity rather than replace labor. For example, a call center worker can instantly determine the caller's demands and complete tasks more quickly and effectively. That also applies to industries and businesses. In the life sciences, for instance, Accenture is assisting clients in accelerating the time to market by leveraging deep learning and neural networks. AI can start new enterprises in addition to assisting current ones. AI-based agriculture, AI-based elder care, and AI-based sales call monitoring are a few examples of this new industry. Lastly, automation can be utilized to fill open positions. There is already a shortfall of 150,000 truck drivers in the United States, as Doherty recently pointed out. Automation is necessary to raise driver productivity and appeal to a wider audience by improving driver lifestyle, he stated. Changes we need to make today. A decade or so is probably how long it will take for some AI technology to become commonplace. Although there is enough time to prepare for the shift, not many businesses are already taking steps to teach their employees. The fact that algorithms and data used to build AI systems are not representative of the varied American culture is another issue that goes unnoticed. About the former, company executives do not believe that their workforce is prepared for AI, according to Accenture Research. Nonetheless, just 3% of those executives were spending more on training. Fei Fei Li, an associate professor at Stanford University and the head of the institution's AI lab, proposed utilizing AI to retrain workers at a Davos meeting hosted by Accenture. I believe there's a really exciting possibility that machine learning itself could contribute to more efficient worker reskilling and learning processes, the speaker stated. And I think that aspect needs more attention and investment. The lack of diversity among the organizations developing AI is another issue that needs to be addressed in 2024. This lack of diversity is a bias itself, as Lee pointed out. MIT's most recent study has emphasized this topic. Joy Balamwini, a researcher at the MIT Media Lab, reported finding evidence that white faces are more easily recognized by facial recognition software than black faces. Specifically, the study discovered that the algorithms identified accurately more than 99% of the time if the photo was of a white male. However, the ratio among women of color ranges from 20 to 34%. The application of face recognition technology in hiring, advertising, and law enforcement is affected by these biases. Such research demonstrates how artificial intelligence, AI, can appear as an extraterrestrial force of disruption, but in reality, it is a human invention that mirrors the shortcomings of its creator. We have complete control over how AI affects jobs, stated Bank of America's Chief Operations and Technology Officer, Kathy Besant, in a Davos conversation. How we manage AI's application for the benefit of the workforce matters more than what we allow it to do to the workforce. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to this channel and click the like button below to be notified anytime we post content like this thank you as you do. And don't forget to drop your question concerning the topic.